what's up you guys welcome to another video in today's video i wanted to go ahead and use the new hourglass ambient lighting edit unlocked tiger palette that's a lot of words um so i'm very excited about this but this thing was pricey um this is what the packaging looks like so kind of the same as the box you do get all of the shade names and the numbers on the back of here as well. Um, this is a six pan blush palette essentially. So it does come with a nice little mirror. And these are the shades up close. So I do know these two here are blushes. This is supposed to be a finishing powder for deeper skin tone. Um, I was able to use it as a bronzer. And then you pretty much have like these blush toppers. And a highlighter so that is what we will be using in today's video also I did do a reels or a short story whatever girls so much stuff um, I did pick up some cream blushes from the brand about face so I definitely went ahead and used this in today's video this is the shade cowgirl which of course it's a terracotta shade um, so perfect for fall. Honestly, I love that orange blush any time of year. That's just me. Um, and then lastly, another new product we will be using in today's video is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the Blur Jam Silicone Free uh, Smoothing Primer. So I'm very excited to go ahead and put all of these new goodies to the test. I do have some new, uh, some more new products on the way. And then real quick, um, these are not new, but I figured I'd mention. I did go ahead and finally pick up the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Longwear Foundation. Um, so I did have to mix shades 12 and 12.5. And I'll kind of get into that more um, in the video. But before we jump into today's look... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below as all of those things do help my channel. I'm definitely trying to grow here on this platform. So definitely help your girl out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's look. All right, y'all. So I am using the Beauty Bay Fiery 2.0 palette. Um, I just kind of did a, a halo look. I am very, very rusty on eyeshadow I'm already like eyeshadow is not my strong suit and I have not done my eyeshadow in about a month I want to say I've just been doing like a bronzer on the lid throwing on some lashes and going about my business so bear with me with this look I definitely do have to redeem myself but I feel like once you put on lashes it kind of helps bring your looks together off top though I was just like ooh, girl um, but I definitely wanted to tap into this palette. I do have so many other palettes that are perfect for fall time that I want to go ahead and pull out and start playing with more colors and, um, like not glitter, but like rhinestones and all that fun stuff. So definitely expect that in the coming, you know, next coming up videos, you know, in the coming months or so. Um, but I definitely just wanted to, again, just play with some color. I wanted this look to be a little bit deeper than what it was. But, again, I was just kind of like, you know what, we're going to leave it where it's at. Um, I'll definitely do a different look another time and just kind of come back and really deepen my look. And, you know, obviously take my time with it as well. Alright you guys, in this palette, I really quickly just want to show you what colors I used. So this shade right here, which is called Sour, this was used on the outer and inner parts of the eye for the center. I did go in with the shade here called Turmeric. For the orange shade, I did use Pumpkin to blend out the tops of the shade Sour. And then in the center of the lid, to add a little bit of shine, I did add this uh, shimmer shade which is called honey so a total of four colors were used in this palette I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my other lash and then we could go ahead and move into complexion all right you guys we're going in with the Huda Beauty glowish blur jam silicone free smoothing primer 
This does retail for $33. I did pick mine up at Sephora. The highlights on their website says this is vegan, good for pores, hydrating, fragrance, and cruelty-free, and of course, again, without silicone. Um, it says this product is a clean silicone-free primer that helps texture, pores, and uneven tone instantly fade out of focus and boost skin hydration for a soft focus finish. So I definitely off the bat agree with the soft focus finish. Um, this does feel very soft and smoothing on the skin, but um, it does not say anything about blurring your pores or anything like that, but we will definitely see how this looks once we apply the foundation. We're going in with the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. I do have shades 12 and 12.5 here. I do have to mix the two. Um, Ulta does carry this foundation, but they do not have all of the shades. It's like, I don't know. The, the shades that they have was just like, eh. So I did pick up shade 12 in Ulta, but I noticed that it was definitely a little bit too light. This shade is a neutral undertone, so I went on their website, I ordered shade 12.5 and 13, which are warm undertones for medium skin. So um, again, because it is affordable, I'm not too upset at mixing it, but that's the only takeaway for me with this foundation is the fact that you have to mix them because the shade range is not the greatest. I do feel like mixing the two helped me get a very nice, um, a nice, you know, tone for my complexion. And then going in with some cream bronzer, this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. So I am just taking that around the perimeter of the face where I would do my cream bronzer, obviously. This is a very cream, creamy product. Um, I would say you got about a minute and a half before it dries down. So that's still enough time before you start blending it out. But I do feel like if you have to like wet the face, um, like spray any type of fixing spray before you blend it out, I still feel like it would be perfect. And then for cream blush, as you can see, for a cream blush, we are going in with the About Face Cream Blush in the shade Cowgirl. So these retail for $18. They do have six shades on Ulta's website, which I think four of the six are sold out. But again, you can go to About Face website and pick up these. I do like the fact that they are buildable. So yes, they're pigmented, but they don't come off too pigmented to where um, you can't build up the shade and it's hard to blend out. So very creamy, but not overly hydrating and dewy to where it feels like it's going to slip and slide on the face. So I really do like the formula of it and I highly recommend the cream uh the cream blush. So we're going in with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer in the shade 29Y. So this has definitely been a great go-to. This concealer is only $15. And when I say it is pigmented, it is beautiful. I do not notice any uh, creasing or anything excessive. It definitely covers any dark spots on my under eyes. So I highly recommend this concealer if you have not tried it yet and I'm sorry you guys I'm really trying to get through this video but I am still under the weather I feel congested and all type of stuff and I'm sure you can hear it so just bear with me y'all I just wanted to make sure I get a video in front of you guys because I don't want to keep waiting too long um you know before I post another video so definitely 
the under eyes look amazing. I feel like the face is looking great and this is before I set everything. Going in with the one size translucent uh, setting powder. This is definitely a staple in my collection. Something that will continuously be repurchased along with my kimchi chic powder. They are definitely my go-tos and I'm using that with the e.l.f. Um, powder puff. I'll be honest, I kind of, you know, this powder puff is like a, eh. It's not necessarily the greatest thing. I feel like I kind of like the ones off Amazon a lot better because they're a lot softer. This one definitely has a rougher texture. And I don't know if that's just because now that I've washed it, the texture of it feels different to me. So now we're going in with NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop <laughs> uh, Pressed Powder. This is like their foundation powder, I guess. Um, this is in the shade Caramel, so I'm just taking that to set the perimeter of the face. This has definitely been a go-to, something I used a lot in the summertime, and I feel like it held my makeup very well. I think with all makeup products, it's either a hit or miss for most people. It just depends on your skin texture. Some of us, even though we are combo or you know combo skin, uh, oily T zone, some of us may get more oil oilier if that's a word than others. So it's it's a big difference. So now going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Face Palette. This is new at Sephora. They did have this for about two weeks on Hourglass website, but I did pick mine up in the Tiger. Uh, the the color is called Tiger. So they do come in three different color stories. Uh, you have the butterfly, which is for, it looks like light skin tones. Uh, elephant looks like light to medium skin tones. And then tiger, which is the one I have. It comes in, um, I believe this is more for tan to deep skin tones. So this one um, is beautiful. This one spoke to me more, obviously, with the orange blush. So there is a finishing powder in this one. And it's like the transcendent, yeah, transcendent light. It is a finishing powder. That is what I went ahead and used to bronze the face. Um, and then, of course, you guys know I'm going in with that orange blush. It looks beautiful. Uh, just kind of reading the highlights. This is vegan, pressed powder formula, gluten-free, cruelty-free, without parabens, and it is a radiant finish. So... Again, this does retail for $85. Is it worth the $85? Girl, I'm still trying to decide that right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It gives a light touch to the face. So I feel like, you know, you get your blushes, your highlighters, your blush toppers, all of that good stuff in one palette. So it's it's nice, essentially. But I feel like with this, you are paying for the name. You are paying for the fact that it is Hourglass, a more high-end makeup brand. And I do believe that some of the proceeds of this are being donated, um, you know, to help like the wildlife and, you know, all of that. So that's a, that's a good thing to me, um, especially if that is something that is near and dear to you then by all means, pick it up. It's not a bad product to where I say, don't go get it. But I am still trying to justify how much money I just spent on this. So <laughs> I don't want that to be you. But it is pretty. It is something that is wearable for every day. Very quick, I'm just going to give the rundown of the lip combo. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense 3 Lip Liner. So I believe this is like the deepest brown that they have. Um, I'm just going to use that to line the lips. I did do a little overlining and then kind of fill in the lips just a little bit. For lipstick today, I did go in with Butterscotch. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Butter. Blah. <laughs> butterscotch lipstick this is like a neutral peachy beige um and it is a satin finish for the lipstick and even though it did have a satin finish it wasn't matte um i still wanted to go in with a gloss so i did go ahead and use the uh this is milky gloss by nyx in the shade milk and honey
All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I am very, very pleased with the overall outcome. Um, I just want to kind of run down very quick. As far as the Makeup Revolution foundations, I do feel like they look amazing on the skin. They do look flawless. Um, again, the only takeaway for me is the fact that I have to mix shades. But because it is an affordable brand, I'm really not tripping on the fact that I had to mix two different shades. Um, another product that definitely helps is if something is too deep. Is um, If something is too deep or too warm, they do have the LA Girl Pro pigments that you can mix. Um, I do know that there are some mixed reviews on those. But I do have those and I honestly haven't noticed an issue if I need to use them. So that's another option. But... Um, I just wish the shade range was better on this foundation, but for an affordable brand, I really do feel like the Makeup Revolution foundation is a go for me. And again, I have shades 12 and 12.5. Um, let's jump into the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Primer. So smoothing, I definitely noticed that on the skin. Um, I did do a close-up for you guys within the video as well. Pores, I don't really notice that they are accentuating. So, that is a good thing as well. I do feel like I just have this healthy look to the skin. Um, it's not too dewy, not too overly shiny. So, again, as I mentioned within the video, I did try this already. Um, but it was a video that I had to scrap because I did not like it and I feel like it held up very well. I want to say I had the foundation and primer on for about a good four hours and I still had not noticed like any major oil peeking through. So this is definitely something that I do recommend in regards to the About Face Cream Blushes. It is a go for me 10 out of 10. They are, they do have, I want to say maybe 10 shades in total on About Face website. There's about six shades on Ulta's website, but I noticed four of the six were already out of stock. So if you could get your hands on these, please do. Um, I definitely feel like they are very creamy. It is nicely pigmented, but it's not too overwhelming to wear, you know, it's, it's a great formula that easily allows you to build up the cream blush. So that is what I like. It's not just boom and now it's hard to blend out. Now it didn't dry down fast and you have no wiggle room with it. It is not one of those products. So I definitely recommend it. Last but not least, the Hourglass Ambient Light um, Blush Palette. It's beautiful. I feel like the, um, the what is this called? The Finishing Powder worked very well as a nice little bronzer it's very soft so it's not too overpowering i feel like that would be something to use on an everyday basis because it was not too much and again um this shade here was the finishing powder which is what i use for bronzer of course this orange burnish like burnt like orange tone for blush is my go-to that is truly like top tier for me so, overall, it's a nice palette. Um, I definitely feel like you're paying for the brand because Hourglass is definitely very expensive and, you know, pricey. This, to me, is not necessarily worth... I'm sorry. The kids are screaming. And I waited till they got out of school to record. Um, it's not really worth $85. But... It's, it's not a bad formula to where I feel like, oh, you don't need it. If it's something that you would like to get your hands on that you want to try, um, I definitely say by all means, go ahead and pick it up just to see how you feel about it. And that's that. Is it worth the money? No. But is it nice? Yes. So again, initial application. I love it. This is something that I will probably be reaching for more often because of the price point. I do know that um, there is a percentage of the money that is going to be donated, I believe, to um, something pertaining to animals or some sort. So if that definitely touches a soft spot for you, then 
go ahead and pick this up. I, again, I did get mine from Sephora. They did have them in my local Sephora store, so I did go ahead and pick it up today. But it seems like it was a pretty good video overall. Some really great products that we tried out on the on the face today. Again, I do have some new things on the way as well. So you guys definitely stay tuned for more videos to come. And that is it, y'all. I love you guys so much. I'm going to stop talking now because I feel like <clears throat> I'm getting a little, you know, throat starting to hurt a little bit. So <laughs> that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all stay safe. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.